Alright, I just wanted to give an overview of the Garmin, I suppose call it trailer boat range. Starting from the cheapest to most expensive along the way. So, we'll start with the units first. This is the AK Map 70S. Focuses. It's a standalone GPS fish finder with built in maps. G2 Vision capable now with uh, the latest software. Garmin blue charts are built in. Runs a 77 200 kilohertz 300 watt sonar. As long as it focuses. Eventually. 7 inch touchscreen uh, has Ethernet capabilities, no NEMA 2000, no external GPS. We move up to the Echo Map 70 DV, DV standing for down view. It's the exact same as the previous model, except we now have down view sonar available to us. It runs one of these DV transducers. King of the Hill is a 751. It runs a 5200 transducer as standard with a few options. One being that down view transducer I've just shown you, and one being chirp transducer. This is the AMR TM150 300 watt chirp transducer. On top of that, you also get a few other options like radar, uh, weather if you're in the United States. Uh, video in features, external GPS antennas, NEMA 2000s, connectivity and the ability to run a GCV 10 module with one of these side and down view transducers so if we go sonar, side view, traditional side view, down view, side view, etc. We get the best of all worlds. Uh, pretty much everything you've just seen, the 7 inches available and 5 inch. This is the AK Map 50S, the exact same thing we just saw earlier. With the 70S, just with the 50S, it's a 5 inch and non touch screen. Same with the 50DV. Sonar, down view. And the 557. Same as the 751, can run the connectivity. Won't be able to run radar, however. It's one difference. Full screen. In handhelds, the two I have available here are the 72H, which has been in the market for quite some time. It's reliable, it just does the job, black and white. And the 78 series, this is the 78SC, which is uh, preloaded with Australian New Zealand marine charts into the small GPS onlys we have the Echo 301 DV which is a three, uh, 300 series Echo just with the down view functions as well so okay menu pages down view just high frequencies. Same thing with the 300. It's actually been replaced with a 301. That's this guy. 350C. Been around for a little while now. Still quite good. Five inch diagonal. Um, standard 77 200. Uh, the 551. Slightly larger screen. Now with down view as well as the 77 200. Moving down to the new guys, the 820XS, this is essentially an 8 inch version of the 751 except it's not touch screen, it runs series buttons for selections and your standard Garmin display buttons. So it doesn't come preloaded with charts, you can obviously insert G2 vision cards, uh, Garmin blue chart charts cards or topo cards in that guy comes standard with a 77 200 and down view transducer chirp capable 
and then we've got the 1020XS, the exact same thing but in 10 inch it also includes this telephone-esque numeric display. A couple other features, just our autopilot controller, Garmin gauge controllers. And that's your basic range. So your in-hole transducers, 600 watt, standard 300 watt, 77200, 77200 and down view TM150 chirp transducer um, Garmin clear view side view down view transducer and the module box that goes with it so anyway that's the brief overview of what we carry here at Regal other models available just don't have any room for them uh, <laughs> if you have any questions send me a message